This video is part of a series of videos on how to use auto traffic. Be sure you start from the first video. The link to the playlist is in the description below. What if you want to add an application that is not supported by the script, which at this point there are four apps, but I might add more applications later on, but maybe there's something else that you want to add. How do you do that? That's question number one. So let's see how to do that right now. So since we are done with the script, we're going to press control C or go back to the main menu and quit or whatever. So I exited out of the script right now. So I'm going to clear the screen. So I don't have all these mess. Since we will have to start working with Docker compose from now on, I'm going to navigate. I'm going to navigate back to my, my Docker folder here. And we will have to edit our Docker compost file since we're going to add applications manually. There are two ways to do it with the auto traffic script. So I will show you both ways. Now, and then we have the compost folder. The way auto traffic works is that it breaks up your compost file into multiple applications actually one for each of them as you see um, on the left side of the screen right there and then there's a master docker compost file which just combines all of these individual applications into one big file notice that there is something called custom.yaml right now it's commented out and it's not used so that is the first way to add an app um, add um, uh, a new service I, I do have my I do have my um, auto traffic server um, or development environment available here on uh, on um, Visual Studio Code Server, so I'm going to use that, and it might actually be easier uh, if you have that available. If not, it um, if not, you can continue to use the Mobax term editor. But I'm going to switch over to my my uh, Visual Studio Code Server. There again, you see the master Docker Compose file with the custom. So if I go to Compose and Custom and open it, you can add uncomment services and start adding new ones right below. So we can do that right now. So if I go, at, where do you get additional services from? Head over to my Docker or GitHub repository on Docker and traffic. You have a bunch of different Docker Compose files here. I actually have five Docker hosts and all five of them have different compost files and those are the files that you see here. There might be some duplication of apps between different um, Docker hosts. Ignore that. So, and you can also use the search to uh, search button to search this repository and find the application that you're interested in. I have, I think, 80 or so already. And um, do I have them listed here? Uh, yeah, you can, you can see that. I don't usually... I mean, it's hard hard to keep track of what applications I use and not. So it's a good list, but there may be new ones and ones that are not listed there. So for now, let's uh, let's open this one and scroll down to find an application that that we want to add. Let's say uh, let's say I want to add I don't know some uh, okay let's say I want to add auto index okay it's auto index is just basically something that makes your um, uh, folder you pick available through the web browser for you to browse okay so let's see how to do that using custom.yaml file so I'm gonna uncomment this and then I'm gonna copy this right here nothing yet you will have to specify which folder you are going to make it away make available so in this case remember if, if you have been following if you use the script or you have been following my docker media server guide um d o c k e r d r it, this variable is the docker root folder and i'm gonna just for the sake of it make this folder available through the web interface. There are some changes that you need to make though because it's the way script works today is slightly different than what my um, Docker media server guide or the traffic guide uh, says. Uh, but at this some point within the next month or two, I will align both and they should it should help a lot of people. Right now there's a little bit of confusion which people can get lost. Okay, so um we are going to use index as the the the, um, the subdomain this has to be changed though because i use 
I have many Docker hosts and so I use different variables to refer to them. The script just says domain names. So right now only one domain is supported. So we'll have to edit that to this. And notice how it says here chain.oauth for middleware. I use Google OAuth for many of my applications. Also use Authelia in this guide where we only saw Authelia. So you can flip it to Authelia or basic authentication, which I do not recommend, but let's switch it to chain.authelia. How do I know what um, chain to use? You can browse through the rules folder. This is why I say do not ignore reading and understanding my guide because it tells you where to go and find what and things like that many people ignore um, reading the guide they think that script this using the script is just a way to circumvent reading and understanding it's not the case um, this is why I don't hide anything from my guys I give you everything so anything that you can do with the script you don't have to pay for it it's all there but it takes time and effort to learn so I still recommend doing going that way so let's go to this rules folder for traffic and you will see all the different chains that are available here ignore the first part here middleware dash chain dot Othelia but chain dot Othelia so if I click on that one you're gonna see the actual name which is this here so chain dot Othelia is what we're gonna use so chain or chain dash Othelia is what you're going to use ignore the at file which refers to the file provider or these are all file providers here so at file so ignore that so we're only change we're going to do is chain dash Othelia nothing else usually you don't have to edit anything in this um, notice this profile so, okay so you can comment it out if you want um, I use profiles on my app uh, on my stack to group similar apps together so I can start them and stop them all at once for example media apps I can use a specific um, do alias or docker command to start all the media apps at once or all of them down at once depending on many automations that I have in place so right now I you know let's li leave it like that so I have this done right now so the custom file has been edited let's go back to our master docker compost file make sure that custom.yml is unchecked so i unchecked it i saved it now let's go back to our command line here and we'll have to start our stack how do you do that you are going to use the sudo docker compose um, command um, we're gonna use f where is our docker compost file located in docker folder and docker uh, compose-g2.yaml and up and we're going to do the daemon okay now i do you can do it this way or if you have read um, my guides i use aliases to simplify and maybe when i add the next app i will show you how to do that so let's keep leave it as is for now okay i did that on purpose actually because you see how no service is selected this is because i use profiles if you use profiles you always have to specify a profile so I'm going to now say profile all and hit enter now it's going to run through the whole docker compost file see what's already up and running what's not in this case auto index was not running now it's been started it's already on Othelia so we don't have to do anything right now so let's go back to our browser and go to index dot simple home lab dot com now you have the Othelia menu let's log in because I have to show you that the app works and I'm gonna punch in my OTP code eight 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 seven one zero now there you go index is now working and my docker root folder is now visible here and I can see see the files um, it's nothing fancy just a quick way to see the files this is uh, um, that that is what it, it is now we saw how to add an app using the custom file you can also create your own docker compost file here and add a new app let's create a new one let's add dozel or dozel okay so I'm gonna it's empty right now 
um, where do you get the, those the Docker Compose from? So let's head back in here um, and search for Dozel. So I have it right there. I'm going to copy this whole thing and go back in here, paste it. Notice that services is missing on the top. You will have to manually add it or you're going to see an error. Okay, so I have Dozel. What do I edit in here? you can leave pretty much everything we have socket proxy and um if you have been following my guides just leave that be um because those needs access to docker socket you can provide the access directly to docker socket by uncommenting this but we are using socket proxy for security so it's why you have to add the socket proxy network you also have to have the the traffic proxy network okay now um you don't have to edit anything else here the only thing i would say here once again as with the other apps we're gonna um adjust the domain name here as well chain dash oat we're gonna change it to atelier because we already have atelier running if you don't have atelier running you can change it to chain dash basic dash auth or you can change it to chain dash no dash Auth, which is no authentication which I do not recommend but just so you know okay so we've done this part right now so everything is running the one part I really missed is that port 8080 traffic is already using port 8080 as we saw if I just open the traffic uh, compost file you're gonna see that it's already using port 8080 right here so we cannot use port 8080 this is why i changed it to um i don't know 8082 whichever is available you can use that so um we'll leave it leave it at that for right now so notice that 8082 is only on the docker host side on the container side which is 8080 it still stays the same this is why we're gonna uh, leave it at 8080 right here at the bottom so tra traffic knows where to find the application inside the container so no changes there so just leave everything be so only thing that you edited was the port number to 8082 the um, domain name and uh, changing the authentication let's save this right now and we have to add na the the um, we have to add this to our main stack so we're gonna do follow the same format compose and dozul.yaml now that we've added that we'll save it leave the last line untouched do not do anything with it because the script uses patterns to recognize what's turned on and what's turned off and add additional services if you mess with this last line right there everything go becomes messy so please do not do that do not touch it so we saved it let's go back to our uh, command line here notice the command that I used up there I'm not going to use that right now because I want to show show off my alias so let's see so in this my um, so I'm just going to say dc up to which is docker compose up to y2 because I'm using traffic version 2 which makes no sense this is how I started it so at some point don't be surprised I might re change everything and it might just be DC up um, at this point it's DC up to because I, I actually I know why I have DC up to at one point I had both traffic 1 and 2 running and I needed aliases for both and so I started with DC up to but I will change it plus these dash aliases i will make them available as a part of auto traffic plus and at some point you're going to see it so if you want some convenience you can you can do exactly what i do in future so up to and that's it exactly what happened up there with the long command now it's done quickly for you so we added those also 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 takes a little bit of time to start i think so let's head over to our browser so if you see a 404 don't be surprised it because it might take some time simple home lab.com so well actually it started so let's log in again i didn't i should have pressed remember me because i keep typing in my otp code so uh okay so let's do two five six four seven one done there you go so now i'm on those so i hope that this gave you an idea of how you can add your own applications to this to the stack if you are to this point 
you actually don't have the need for the script anymore. Now, I am adding a few more maintenance features into the script that you will see in future, but you don't really need those. You know, you have a basic framework set up, you have a good authentication system, you can continue to add your own apps. You don't really have to use the script. If you haven't liked the video or my channel yet, please do so. So I'm just starting out and every bit of support from people who watch the videos will really help me grow my channel. It helps the YouTube algorithm see that you find my videos valuable and I get more visits on my videos. Thank you.